Time is a social institution and not a physical reality. There is, in other words, no such thing as time in the natural world. You can make significant plans for the future if and only if you are alive today. strategy there because I remember you were probably 10 meters in and almost 10 meters across from everyone else. I remember that one kind of just came in like super doubled up. Like I chased it in from the start and it still just like kind of kept holding me up and even though I was like real far in compared to the pack if I was another couple meters in I reckon it would have helped a lot. You tell you back yourself or you could make it? Yeah I tried to stick the airdrop and it's like as I was falling, it's like the bottom just kept dropping out and getting further away. <laughs> just, you had a flotation on, did you? Yeah, I had a little impact vest on. I'm glad I didn't blow it and hurt myself on that one because, yeah, definitely, I don't end up getting the way of my life that other. Yeah, no way. Bloody oath he did. <laughs> Can I open this? Yeah, yeah. yeah open the cooking room. Just open the window. Do you reckon you see things a bit slower than others? I just wonder what goes through that head from that 10 seconds <laughs> of when it comes to when you're in and how you make it look so effortless. I know when you're like looking at a wave and lock into it, for me it is kind of like it is moving in slow motion. If I'm feeling good and in the zone, it's almost like every step and movement is subconscious. campaign, 4-3 in an impact suit. I reckon it'll go in here though. Yeah, 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 for sure.
Are we allowed to drop the name? Or what are we doing here? No. Nah, no. I need it. I want to. Like, can we say it gets. No, nah, we can't cut it out. Eh? I mean, I've been out there probably, what, 30 times in my life still. For people that haven't surfed it, they wouldn't understand. It's, it's like next level, isn't it? How'd you get to that frame where you went and did it? And then how'd you learn to pick the right ones and sit in the right spot and just work that place out? Even after traveling everywhere around the world, it's still one of the hardest waves I've found to like line up and read and predict what's gonna happen. Back in the day, I was just so hungry for it, especially when I was younger, we'd just kind of go out there every time and it took a fair few <laughs> beatings to work it out. <laughs> I guess always trying to figure out a pattern for the ocean, which the ocean always has patterns, but it can be pretty hard to work them out. Even just the angle of like such a steep drop on quite a long board, that's a mental block in itself. How do you find big, steeper drops on big crafts? I think a lot of it growing up with my dad always taking me to the bigger bombies around here and always riding bigger boards whenever the surf got bigger. That's his school of thought, especially from Hawaii learning to surf, I just was kind of comfortable riding a bigger board from the get-go, maybe. What is your headspace? What's going on there? Were you, like, tortured as a young fella? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess I kind of just, like, enjoy the rush. It's just kind of that excitement you get in the moment and yeah, it's probably a bit addictive, that adrenaline rush. I love going out and surfing small fun waves as well, but it's just kind of a different feeling and rush that yeah, you don't really get anywhere else. classified as shit, but how long can you kind of maintain that standard of risk sort of thing? It is a weird question to ask myself, like, how long you can keep doing it for. I like to think I'm getting a bit more calculated <laughs> in the last few years, but yeah, let's hope so. I guess as long as you kind of still have that excitement and, like, want to chase it. If I'm fine and I'm not really enjoying myself, I think I'll tap out for sure. 